Hi and welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning about a simple division formula in Excel. So here we are back on our uh, destinations spreadsheets and we'll be using the mileage worksheet again for this lesson. So let's go and have a look at the question of the day. So the question is asking us to calculate the percentage that each distance is of the total. In cell C3, divide cell B3 by B22. Okay, so let's have a look at the mileage worksheet. Um, just before we go there, a quick recap. In cell C3, this is where our answer is going to go into. And the answer we need, uh, we need uh, to get, we need to do is divide the cells B3 by B22. Let's have a look. Okay, so in cell C3, because we're working out the percentage, you can see the title is up there or the label. We are somehow dividing this cell B3, the value 44 that's inside, divided by the total figure, which in this case is 4,309. Now, generally speaking, this is how you work out a percentage of a certain value. So normally in mathematics, we do divide whatever the value is, divide that by the total. That gives you a fraction um, of basically a fraction of this value of the total. Uh, we will discuss about these more in future lessons, so please don't worry at this present moment. Let's learn about this simple division formula in Excel. Now we begin using the equal sign if you remember from previous lessons that's the first thing you have to do if you're doing any form of calculation so equals then we use the cell reference b3 please don't use b22 first that will not work you need to have the first the value you are trying to work out the percentage of from the total first so in this case it's b Three. You can either type it in or you can use the mouse and click in the relevant cell. I'm just going to use my mouse. And then for division in Excel, we use the forward slash. I repeat the forward slash uh, like so. So the forward slash in Excel um, represents division. There is no um, sign as the general division symbol we use in Excel that does not exist in or on the keyboard or in the IT world so we have to use a forward slash instead so b3 divided by the total value which in this case is b22 again you can type it in or you can use the mouse and just click on the cell like I am going to do there we are so b3 divided by b22 once you're happy with that again you can see the color coded b3 is blue simply excel is making life easy for you kind of reconfirming asking you you know are these the two cells you meant b3 is blue and b22 i think is red yes it is so it's just a confirmation just in case you're wondering why are they in different colors that is the only reason nothing technical about this so once you're happy with it, you press enter and Excel gives you this value. This is the answer. Now it is a fraction value, looks nothing like a percentage, but don't worry because in the next uh, future lesson, maybe next one or the one after, we will discuss how we can convert a fraction value into a percentage. So please don't worry about this at this present moment because if we go back to the question, it is simply asking us to calculate the percentage and then it's telling us how to do it. So we have actually answered this question. But the purpose of today's lesson was for me to show you how to use a simple division formula. And this is how you would type this formula in. So just to rephrase, equals B3 
forward slash represents a division in Excel and then by B22. Please remember not to type in the values what's in the cells like 42, sorry, 44 um, divided by 4309. We do not type in the values in Excel. We always use cell references. I have emphasized on this in the previous lessons. So please remember and take this knowledge forward. And this brings us to the end of this lesson. So please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel. And um, feel free to tell your friends and family as well. Um, get, let, allow everyone to benefit from my lessons because I am making these for everybody, anyone around the world. So please feel free to help yourself and everybody else. And until then, I shall see you in the next lesson. Please take care and goodbye.